Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Chow and today we're taking you to the land before time because we've got a construction update. Now, I know what you're thinking about the Jurassic period. They're extinct. They're gone. The funniest thing about that period was that meme with the dog called Fenton. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fenton! Well, we've got something even more fun than Fenton because today we're going to be talking about De Jure's Summerland, which is a park in Denmark where we were talking about this brand new roller coaster that's going to be coming to the park in 2022. And this is a brand new roller coaster. The footers are in place, more construction has been taking part on the site. We've got some brand new construction as part of the whole new Dinosaur Land section of the park. So we're going to be sharing some pictures officially on behalf of Coaster Club Denmark. So massive shout out to those guys. They are brilliant at what they do. Uh, before we get started, shout out to Falco Flair. If you want a shout out, get it in the comments down below. Get your video suggestions in. We've had loads of video suggestions that I'm going to pre-record to put over the next few days. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So from the latest construction update, according to the Coaster Club Denmark, Personally, we seem to be looking at footers that won't resemble a lift hill, but rather could resemble a launch. Now, of course, some argue it could be station work, or there's no, but there's no brake run. There's no brake run. So, the best guess at the minute around the community is some kind of Mac launch coaster or a Mac Extreme spinning coaster. Now, I'm going to be showing some more construction update photos according to Coaster Club Denmark right here right now so you saw that first image which was the crate with dinosaur land and now on your screen you see these footers that are on site now of course there's loads of equipment getting ready to move some stuff on the site including dirt foundation work groundwork and other kinds of work on the construction site now this next image already on your screen is more footer work and you can see loads of footers are in place and this was taken only a couple of days ago and the final image already on your screen is some more footer work you see that the footers are quite outstretched so you know that this is going to be a very long layout so there we go that is the latest construction pictures again once again big shout out to coaster club denmark they followed the channel they know about the channel for a while so massive shout out to you guys you do excellent photography work over there in denmark and it was a pleasure to use those construction photos now my opinion this is going to be brilliant. Now, the reason I say it's going to be brilliant is because of the predictions that are coming out of this. Now, obviously, the big prediction here is Mac Rides. Mac Rides, if you didn't know them already, they are built. They're the Mac family from Germany. They are a manufacturer of roller coasters. They've manufactured some incredible coasters in the country and around the world. They've manufactured the likes of Blue Fire Mega Coaster at Europa Park. Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach here in the UK. They've manufactured some other amazing coasters around the world and recently they've been introducing more of their launch coasters as well as the concept of the extreme spinning coaster. So the launch coaster has been coming in under fire recently with the brilliance of Copperhead Strike at Carowinds. And the Extreme Spinning Coaster debuted back in 2018 at Silver Dollar City with Time Traveller. And it will debut again in 2021 with the addition of what's codenamed to be Time Traveller or used to be codenamed Robo Spinner, which is opening up Plopsaland in Pan in 2021. Now, the reason why I'm going to predict either a Mac Launch or a Mac Extreme Spinner uh, will be discussed right now. And also some cons, so some negative reasons to why it won't be those types of coasters. So... Let's start off with our traditional Mac multi-launch roller coaster, or just a single launch. Could be a single launch. Now, the reason why I think it could be a Mac launch is because it's the type of coaster that I think would suit a part like the Just Summerland. Now, I want to look at Leesburg as a prime example. Now, they added a Mac launch coaster, multi-launch coaster, in 2014 with the addition of Helix. Now, of course, that used to be known as Project Helix, uh, and that was the code name, and then they called it Helix. So it was all green, it was this brand new hillside coaster, and it had this incredible element. Now before that coaster was invented, Leesburg, in my opinion, wasn't one of the top draw parks in Europe. They were still great at what they do, but they weren't ranked among one of the best for coaster types and coaster lineups. However, with the addition of Helix, that 
pretty much spurred on the part to introduce more new roller coaster experiences like Valkyria, their Belgrade and Mabiard dive coaster, which they opened around four years afterwards. So, you know, Leesburg are definitely moving up, and it all started from Helix in 2014 in terms of the modern coaster market. For a part like the Jersey Summerland to get one of these Mac launch coasters, I think this could be the start of a very exciting decade for the Jersey Summerland and a very exciting period in park history. Now the Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster I think could also be a possibility because of course looking at the reviews from Time Traveller at Silver Dollar City and the excitement among the coaster community on behalf of the brand new one coming to Popsland Japan next year in 2021 I definitely think that this could be a market for the Jersey Summerland to go into. They haven't really got a spinning coaster and they haven't got a launched spinning coaster really so this is the perfect market for them. Now one of the big cons, the negatives of having an extreme spinning coaster is the fact they're going to be installing Time Traveller, which is the code name by the way, don't know if it's the real name, if so, who cares, at Pops on Dupan. Now that's being constructed for 2021, however they could still be on site to finish some touches here and there once the ride experience is open. Now obviously once the ride experience is open I think this could really open up the schedule for the Extreme Spinning Coaster. However, is it still too soon for them to then add another one? On the other hand, the Mac Launch Coaster seem to be a more open schedule and a more spaced out schedule than the additions of the Extreme Spinners. Now, in my opinion, I wouldn't mind either way. I think both of these additions would be great for Denmark and for the rest of Europe. It's great to get another extreme spinning coaster in Europe that will make it two for Europe and one for America. Sorry, USA. And obviously with the Matt Launch Coaster, it means you've got another one here in Europe. So they will both be massive additions for the park. But I'm not sure if I can decide between the two at the minute. But I agree with people's opinions. I think it's going to be between a Matt Launch Coaster and a Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster. Now, there's some of you archive vintage theme park fans and theme park fanatics are probably thinking the th same thing right now what is this ride replacing well it's replacing a ride called jungle safari which is a slow moving boat ride dark well not really a dark ride but it's like a slow moving boat ride and after basically around 27 years of operation they removed it um in 2019 they announced the removal of jungle safari and of course this is going to open in 2022 now, of course, we know the theme of this area will be Dinosaur Land, so it'll be interesting to see what dinosaur will represent this coaster, or whether this coaster goes along a different route to another dino-themed coaster that's going on, but this time in the States. Now, of course, this one is an Intamin launch coaster, a multi-launch as well, and this is going down at Islands of Adventure, which is the Velocicoaster. Now, the Velocicoaster, again, is themed around the Velociraptors. Coincidentally, it pretty much resulted in the relocation of the raptor encounter so pretty much it's a raptor coaster raptor themed don't get confused rmc don't get confused um but pretty much this is a raptor themed coaster at Islands of adventure so is the just someone going to go a different direction and go with a different dinosaur or are they going to go completely different from other themed dinosaur coasters that are operating in the world and are they going to go along a different route that could coincide with some kind of theme around dinosaurs but not actually themed to a dinosaur which is you know the coinciding theme with dino prehistoric coasters they're themed around a dinosaur but some of them may not be so maybe they go along a different route with the prehistoric themed area in terms of theming the signature coaster in the area so there we go so that is the latest construction under just someone's brand new coaster for 2022 obviously we've got another year to wait after this year well uh, this year and next year simple maths simple maths and basically yeah this is going to be a brilliant coaster brilliant brilliant coaster so thank you very much guys for watching this video please like comment subscribe for more and for now guys i'm the coaster channel youtube channel doncaster born but built for theme park factual entertainment keep them the coast life i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon cheers have a nice day